I didn't have a, my laptop wasn't letting me make a video, so I got to go back to the cell phone again. But I wanted to make a video. I haven't made a video in a while. And, uh, well, my lighting is just terrible. I found some things out. I've been working really hard. Um, all winter long, I've kind of been suffering. <laughs> I had to go through a probate. And then, uh, Still going through probates and then I had no legal representation on my case they wanted me to get out of the property I was in and I called legal aid and three lawyers decided no they didn't have any experience taken with those cases they didn't know have any knowledge of how to do it so they just rec recommended me to another lawyer and another and I just they all just said no they didn't know they were young they didn't know and so when I got to the court and I owned the property by affidavit, I had in, I owned the interest to the property and I had to get title to it still and remodel it and sell it. And because of COVID, I couldn't work on my job because it had to do with restaurants and hotels. And um, I even tried a tele, uh, <clears throat> telemedicine job selling telemedicine services to, to hospitals and doctors but it was so hard because they were shutting us down the doctors and at the same time they would take months to talk to them. and you talk to them and they're like too busy to talk and then they got to go through a whole echelon of, of other people involved with decision making <clears throat> and then there'd be like these little clinics and they put me through a long process and then I would get like a seven dollar commission on a little clinic per doctor which had like five doctors seven dollars a month and commission so i was looking for the hospitals because that could be like a thousand doctors if there's several hospitals and um then i would get like seven thousand a month you know and it wasn't working either way i wasn't even getting seven dollars because they were just so i just i was so impatient and i couldn't do it there was too much going on in my life and the doc it was hard to think about doctors at the time with covid and all that um, so I went to court and the judge was, was there and he kind of, he's doing a system, but the system, you know, I mean, it's only opinion and what's good. I mean, the American system is, uh, uh, all, it's the justice to it is, is far from, from, uh, from, uh, true good the way of life the true real way of life that's good that the bible explains if you have read it ever um like you know it's just a bunch of people's opinions of what is good and so we got that as a system and this guy he's like well this judge he's First off, the landlord is like accusing me, saying, "Yeah, I've lived there for. It's been two years since he gave me he gave me two years to move, and this and that." And my dad passed a year that day, and it was on the same day that my dad passed a year ago, and it hadn't been two years. And then he said, "Nobody owns the property." And I said, "Well, I haven't owned the interest of the property, so I didn't know that." Well, yeah, but I. For a year, you have been dodging me and wouldn't take my calls. You wouldn't answer my emails. I talked to the manager. He said he called you, talked to you, but you wouldn't get back to him. You wouldn't get back to me. You tell him that you're going to talk to me, but you never talk to me. And uh, so I was getting really upset. I said, well, just stop. Let's take you to the court judge. And, you know. Got in there, and then he tells the judge he's not even sure where he stands now because uh, he didn't know some things about the case that uh, before prior to the court. And the judge was saying, "Well, you know, if you settle out of court, then you know you can avoid eviction on your record." He said, but I can't do anything about eviction on your record if you want to go take it to trial. 
he said, so, um, you know, I'm giving you a chance now. So I'm, I was like, well, that puts me in a spot. He's not, he's just going by procedure and telling me, but I had already contacted three lawyers. I couldn't get a lawyer. The one lawyer that I could get that would knew how to do it, even going all the way to the Senate, because he's done it before, I owed money for the probate, and he wasn't going to go any further until I paid that money. I needed to sell the trailer to pay that money because I was stuck on my job. And the family was actually who delayed everything. They were trying to stop everything. So my family, from day from the second day my dad had passed, had already been looking and trying to get all the profits of everything my dad owned as much as they can, and then got in a trying to even take control over my own personal estate and everything and my life, thinking that they had been inherited something, you know, pout my dad's place over me, my father, who didn't have that much control, you know, never wanted it. I mean, more they were like trying to force me to do this, that, and telling me I had to do this. And I was like, man, you know, and, uh, it was ridiculous. So then they, they threatened me because they had my grandmother, they had ties with my grandmother's estate, which I had to also probate because nobody in the family did that and let it sit for 20 years because they were flaky, you know, period. I don't know. It's just, uh, so then I, uh, so I just, Put all that stuff through. It's going through now, and it's all clearing up. So I'm going through now. It's freaky. I, I just the whole justice system just, and people just believe that it was all a system. Now the <clears throat> the guy that was the landlord, as far as he was concerned, the system just had to do with him and, and the private lawyers. It was all private. Law is private. Everything justice, it's all private. And then when they got to court and it wasn't private, it's like, well, I don't know what, what, what I can just, I thought I'd just do that to you, you know. And then if I had a lawyer, it would have been easy to just go through, you know, explain the justice to it. And except for the system, it's not all that good. You had to exactly know how to do it, you know. And I, I didn't have that skill, <clears throat> the exact knowledge of their system that they came I mean I can reason out what's good and just and everything but I can't well, I took two three classes of justice but it's just explain the philosophy of what's justice and um, go over some of the primary concerns when they're making the laws that we're dealing with now and recently I have took an Israeli course. Well, I took an Israeli Bible course. It explains how he, Jesus is the Messiah to the Jews, the messianic part of the Christ's role. And then also, um, I took a course from Israel X on entrepreneurship. So I'm got fifteen business models written out. Um, for a whole new city called New Rome, a whole empire like a city, which I started, uh, came up with, and, you know, I've watched documentaries on all the different big empire cities and empires, how they were started, and architecture of Rome, and how Rome came about, the history of Rome, all that stuff, and Greece, and all that, and just different things, the wars of the Jews, and all that different things, and I, uh, Christian church and history of the church and then um, all the different cities like uh, different cities like um, different fortress cities where they had fortresses and places um, around the world you know, they're kind of cool cities, like places in Holland and different places that have like canal cities and different things. So I kind of get my idea of how to build a city. And um, 
watched a lot of shows on sustainability. Big, big cities from, like, in Malaysia and China that were being developed and abandoned and everything. To, uh, different things that they're developing here. Abandoned castles. A lot of shows on abandoned dead malls and every kind of thing that was going on, you know, to new construction and all the different materials, sustainability, sustainable materials they come up with, and smart bricks and different things. And I, uh, so I, um, came up with my, you know, I, I did a lot of research and so I have 15 business plans now and one of the business plans is the city itself and the ministry and there's still some more because uh, the health club has going to have health clinics and hospitals so I got to do health, health clinics and hospitals and then the finance company that I was coming up with and I, I may have to do like a separate part to do the insurance I don't know to do um, a nonprofit pool insurance <clears throat> and uh, but all my businesses have a real higher it's kind of an uplifting while all this goes down and everybody's trying to bring America way down and in white country, Western Europe and wipe all the Spanish and the Italian and the Pope and the and the, the Argentinians and the Mexicans and South Americans and blacks Africans everybody over there in the Eastern white society Eastern Europe and you know the Muslims and all that as they're trying to and all the American African American people try to drop us down and all all the the, the bastard borns and and all the hippies and and all the uh, all the, the homosexuals and, and the lesbians who gave up, you know, of course they had nothing to do with their family's heritage, they, they gave it up. You know, they're not going to be heterosexual, natural course of life. So, they don't, all those people want to bring us way down. And, um, there's like, oh, it's over. I mean, they're gay. Or, uh, it's over. They're, uh, they, they didn't have parents, they didn't have family, they, they were born bastard or it's over they um they got divorced and and uh, raped their kids whatever beat their kids or their kids are all on drugs and, and they're alcoholics and so that's going to be acceptable and good it's got to be good if they did it their parent kids do it those people and there's a lot of people in the military it's like so we went in the military we do all that stuff so those are the people we're dealing with, and so they bring the country way down. It's got to go down. It's got to bring it down to them. And so my the city uh, and that I plan out and, and all the businesses have a purpose of bringing things back up. Not like Donald Trump. Like, oh, we're going to build this Dubai. Everybody's going to live in luxury, that. Not that um, real justice and a real good way of life as much as can. I mean, business is business, but so the businesses have purposes, a cultural uplifting. I mean, it's still the world. People are still people. Um, the Bible explains good. No one's good, and no uh, people are inherently evil, uh, but there is good because of God. He created man in his image, and because Jesus Christ lived <clears throat> a sinless life as a second Adam, nobody has to be evil, and everybody can just, you know, uh, however the Creator, as a high priest, Christ, all that stuff goes. Um, it's like the Nicene Creed light from light, true God from true God. So. We don't know, you know, that's the mystery. Those are the things man, human beings cannot ascertain. Um, because our own intellects aren't designed to think that high. No matter what people believe. But we get to know what's good. We can reason it out. You know, it's in the Bible. What's just and good. A good the way of life that uh, the prophets came up with. 
That's prophecy. It's different than philosophy. Prophecy and philosophy are two different things. Um, so we got, you know, we got a conflict. People still using old Greek philosophy to explain good. And, and Pluto was tracking. You know, I mean, he was pretty ahead of his times there on what's good. And, um, Labus goes into more detail and explains, you know, how it takes a strain off. But back then, uh, the Jews, I know that Alexander, I think it was, he had put, in the Greek libraries, he had put uh, Jew Alexander, uh, the, the Jewish law and stuff, in their their libraries and taught people about it. And so I'm sure he probably taught the philosophers about the Jewish beliefs. Because that was before Christ. So they had some, in, in Pluto was tracking, some of the other guys, I mean, they were like out there like uh, Hitler uh, about what's good, you know. And, and they didn't care. They were like, yeah, but this is what's just, man. Whatever gives me pleasure, one of them, you know. <laughs> and they still, even the Jews argue that. They don't even believe in the most themselves. They believe in that guy. They're like, oh yeah, that guy's the right one. Guys, I tell us about Moses. I never, do you know, do you think there's really a Moses? I mean, what this shit? Let's just do some drugs. That's good, man. Jews. So people are people. And, um, that's what we're dealing with. And it's stupid and retarded in some ways. Because we do have all that knowledge. Uh, you know, we had Joan Logue. There's been lots of philosophers after Christ. Now we also have Karl Marx. We're dealing with. Some women, so social democracy thing, social contract. And then uh, we have heresy, a lot of hypocrites in the church. So I'm working on something so uplift it and. and it, it's not oh, it's only going to be whatever you know I'm not even going to make this big high po big population city you know be tons going on it's officials you know, working on it the admin and everything are going to be working on operations other there's going to be a lot of it's going to be franchise some of it's going to be ministerial and um but the city itself is going to be the owner of it. And, well, actually, ultimately, a seminary will own the city that owns everything. And so it's going to be a ministry. I think, I think it's going to be cool. Um, I'm only, I'm 50 years old, though. So my health is my main priority right now. Um, staying fit, staying healthy. <coughs> Which you can hear, I just coughed. You know, not all that healthy. I need to go out and go running and um, get some push ups in and some fitness. I've been stressed out about bills. My bills can go way down, you know, I get way behind. I'm like just surviving because I can't go out and work on. I have a. Uh, I came up with the, with the travel consultancy get thing to be a travel consultant, and uh, that pays okay, but it takes a lot of time. I have to build. It's like building an agency, so I have to do that, which takes time, and I have immediate bills, which is 
So I'm out working, doing like deliveries and stuff and, and whatever I can to pay immediate bills. And then, so then I, I found another thing with a medium sized delivery company that pays very well, uh, just setting up restaurants with drivers. So doing the sales as a sales rep, basically. Um, going out and uh, setting up accounts and uh, that pays well but instead I'm stuck doing the deliveries which doesn't pay well to try to pay off everything so I can go out and have time to go do the other jobs that pay well so like if I had a sale it would be like a month's worth of, of deliveries in one sale you know, of cash you know and so because you, you get a, actually a week of the delivery fees all at once for one sale. So yeah, all the first first week's delivery fees go to the, the person who sells. So, so I said I'm driving. So if they have like 50 deliveries a day, which you can't even do as a driver. I would, so one week of the restaurant's delivery fees set up I might get 3,000 but in one week I could barely earn 600 maybe 700 if I did really well in a good area but I'm in a bad area so it's been terrible trying to earn money because all that money goes ends up going right back into my stomach or in my car and then you, you know, it takes several days to pay off one bill. So you need to pay a bill a day. But I got to go. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on. This business models. I think I'm going to go from Israel X to MIT's entrepreneurs or, or may do some risk management courses. Um, and then I'm getting ready to get a camper and travel east and, and sell and start the travel agency and do whatever i don't know there's fairs i may do a luau to sell trips to hawaii or something at fairs and we'll see what's going on have a little bit of fun if i can